Today I'm at the American Heart Association Annual Scientific Sessions in Anaheim, California. The session that I will be moderating is about cardiogenic shock. And we will talk about the scope of the problem, the importance of a shock team, the indications for percutaneous VADs, and when to move to a durable VAD. The Intermax profiles were developed as a way to further characterize patients with advanced heart failure. Intermax Profile 1 are patients who are your crash and burn patients, your patients in cardiogenic shock with evidence of end organ hypoperfusion. With advances in technology and increased use of things such as ECMO and percutaneous ventricular assist devices, patients are able to be stabilized such that they can be considered for advanced therapies such as durable ventricular assist devices or cardiac transplantation. The etiology of cardiogenic shock can be due to a multitude of reasons, including postmyocardial infarction, fulminant myocarditis, peripartum cardiomyopathy, postcardiotomy syndrome following cardiac surgery, or even just progression of advanced heart failure disease. It is important to recognize the presentation of such patients, as many will require referral to a tertiary or quaternary care center, such as UT Southwestern, in order to stabilize them, and earlier transfer improves chance of better outcomes. Some of these patients may recover, but others may require evaluation for advanced therapies such as durable VADs or cardiac transplantation. It is thus important to transfer these patients to centers that can provide such care. 